everybody. Welcome back to Life of the Villamores channel. On this beautiful Sunday morning, we're going to make some delicious maple breakfast sausage links. So let's get to it. Welcome back everybody. I'm really excited to get started on making some delicious sausage links. I've already ground the pork yesterday. I mixed all of the spices. I will put those, put the spices up on the screen right now. You'll see there's a mixture of about eight spices. I'll put them at the end of the video as well. So today what we're going to be doing is using sheet casings, 20 to 22 millimeter casings. We're going to go ahead and stuff those up into small links and let's get to it. So the sheet casing links I got from the sausage maker, here's what they look like right here. I'll also put those up on the screen as well so you can see that. These things are, <laughs> these things are quite long. When uh, Kirsten and I were pulling them out, I could not believe how long these things were. But we're gonna get to it today and put them on the horn and get to stuffing. Let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get the pork into the container and one of the best ways to do this, one of the techniques I should say, is you wanna to try to eliminate as much of the air as possible. So get you a little handful here, throw it in there, that'll help eliminate any of the gap, any of the air. Okay, so we finished filling the canister. Let's go ahead and insert this and get ready to put the casings on. So, this seemed like it was about 20 feet of casing. I mean, look at this, this is awesome. So we're gonna see if that amount of casing could do this whole canister. And all I'm gonna do is gently, I'm just gonna let it guide on out. See, just like this. I am not putting any pressure whatsoever on there. That way, we'll be able to roll this sausage Twist the sausage really good. Oh, that looks awesome. Now that we finished casing all the sausage, I got it into a beautiful spiral right here, and it is time to go ahead and make links. A couple of ways to do that. First off, let's make an amount of breakfast sausage link, probably about like this size, right? Do a little pinch, once it pinches. Go away from you. That's about the next one. Pinch. Come next to you at least three times, if it wants to turn. <laughs> and you just keep doing this. All right, so now that we got our link, we'll just go through. A little sausage picker, get some of the air bubbles out. And there you go. Well, you may have noticed we changed venues here. We had some audio issues, so I figured I'd just finish up here in the office. Well, we had a lot of fun doing that. It took us all day of meat processing yesterday to get everything completed for our bratwurst as well as sausage. And this morning we decided to go ahead and complete everything on up with our breakfast sausages. And let me tell you, it was so easy with that manual sausage stuffer. I highly recommend it. Uh, I tell you what, the, the attachment for the meat grinder, and I've never tried the KitchenAid, but oh my God, it made sausage stuffing much easier.
Welcome back to our channel. It's my time to rate uh, what we have been doing all weekend long. We started yesterday morning, I want to say at about um, 9 o'clock and didn't finish until today, Sunday, um, until almost 1 o'clock here in the afternoon. Um, I want to show you, this is pretty much a typical Felsisch dish. Um, Felsisch is the region in Germany where um, I'm from and actually where our son Mark is from too. Minus the breakfast links we made actually, uh, we made this morning as well and Anthony decided to cook them up as well. So let's have a quick look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that blows any store bought breakfast sausage out of water. Mmm, good job. Okay, bonus time. I went ahead and decided to go ahead and cook the breakfast sausage along with our bratwurst we're having for lunch today. So let's take a taste. Turned out really good. Mmm. Holy cow. These things are the best sausages that I think I've ever tasted. I hope you all get to enjoy my recipe and you gotta try these. These are fantastic. Anyways, peace out people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And you know what? Everybody out there can do me a favor. Do me a favor and please like, subscribe, and share the heck out of this channel. We're really trying to grow it, and we appreciate you. So to all our friends and family out there, we love you. Peace.